Hello, good morning everyone. I J Vijay Chandra welcomes you to Bits Connect. Today I am going to discuss regarding virtual memory. The topic which I am going to discuss is virtual memory. The topic virtual memory. The virtual memory is the memory where we are going to use the hard disk for the sake of the RAM. It is not actual memory, but it is a temporary memory, temporary memory allocation, and it supports the main memory. Virtual memory is the temporary memory allocation and it supports the main memory. It uses the memory mapping table and memory buffer register and it supports the main memory. The virtual memory uses the hard disk as an extension of RAM. It uses hard disk as an extension of RAM. In area of the hard disk, it will create page file. What it will create? It will create a page file. So it uses the hard disk extension to the RAM, and it will create a page file. And it will have the next term which you are going to discuss is the virtual address. After creating the page file, the next thing is the virtual address. The logical program or the program that the process uses, and this is the CPU which generates even that means based on the it will be between the main memory and the virtual memory the address is the term where the virtual memory is there that will be identified by the cpu based on the virtual address only the virtual memory will be identified by the cpu cpu should under understand where this virtual memory is there for that say we will have the virtual address and another thing is the physical address physical address is physical address is the real address physical address is the real address in the main memory and this is the physical address whereas the virtual address is the logical or program address what is virtual address it is also called as logical address it is also called as logical address or program address it is also called as program address the virtual address is called as logical address or program address whenever the cpu requires or generates the address it always in terms of virtual address that means the cpu which generates the address it is the virtual address so so in virtual memory we are going to we discussed about the page file page file is the RAM extension, virtual memory is the extension of the RAM and which is stored in the hard drive and this uh, extension of the RAM which is stored in the hard drive is known as the page file and next is the virtual address, virtual address is of mainly two, one is the logical address and another is the program address, the logical address is the address, logical address is the address or the program address that the process which uses whenever the CPU generates an address it is always in terms of virtual address this is always in the terms of the virtual address then comes to the program address program address is this is this it is also called this is all okay it is also called virtual address is also called as the logical address or a program address that the process uses to the 
CPU that generates it, the which generates it, it always in the terms of the virtual address. So, logical address or the program address which is generated by the CPU that uses the process whenever the CPU generates it, it is always the virtual address. Then comes to the physical address. It is the real address. It is the real address. So, what is physical address? It is the real address in the physical memory. Where it will be in physical memory. Okay. So, virtual address, virtual memory. Virtual memory is nothing but the extension of the CPU, or the extension of the RAM, which is located in the Hard drive, hard disk lo, manaki, uh, manaki RAM lo unna space tari po na kudo hard disk lo unta kudo space ni virtual RAM ke create jaise kundo di daani manamo virtual memory anta mo di ni create jaise kore endu ka di use jaise technique ni manamo page files anta mo the virtual address is of two one is the logical address and another is the program address then comes the physical address it is the real address in the physical memory. It is the real address in the physical memory. Then comes to the mapping. Then comes to the mapping. The mechanism by the virtual address is translated into a physical memory is known as mapping. That means mapping is the technique which the virtual address or the translated in the physical memory. What is mapping? Mapping is the virtual address. Mapping is the mechanism by which the uh, virtual address or the or translated in the physical memory. Virtual address ni mana physical memory ki and physical address ki translate cheyad ni mana mapping anta. Mande hi rendi di madhya la unna connection ni mana mo mapping and using this mapping only we can translate the virtual address and the physical address virtual address and physical address ni rendering ni connect jese dani manamo mapping and so first is virtual memory virtual memory is the memory where the uh, ram is uh, virtual memory is the extension of the ram where it will uses the hard disk next is the page file that the technique which is used is the page file. Next comes the virtual address. It is also called as logical address or the program address. Based on the virtual address only, uh, the process will go and C CPU will generate the address and it is also, uh, it is always in the terms of the whatever the CPU that generates, uh, whatever the address that generated by the CPU will be always in the form of the virtual address then comes to the physical address which is the actual address or the uh, real address where uh, instead of the uh, that means where the mapping is a technique which combines the virtual address and the physical address this is a brief description regarding the uh, virtual memory before going to discuss this table Two more, uh, some more terms are there. That is the page frames. Next is the page frames. Page frame, the equal size of the chunks or blocks into the memory, main memory or physical memory is divided. So, the main memory or the physical memory is divided into blocks or chunks that is the uh, page uh, page frame next comes the pages or the blocks into which the virtual memory the logical address space is divided each equal in the size to the page frame the virtual pages are stored in on the disk until it is needed whenever it is needed until it is uses the Pages. Then comes to the paging. 
the process of copying the virtual pages or from the disk to the page frame in main memory where this page frame will be it will be in the main memory the page frame will be in the main memory and paging is the process of copying paging is the process of copying the virtual pages from the disk to the page frame in the main memory paging is paging is process of copying process of copying the page virtual pages what it will copy it will copy the virtual pages from a disk to the page frames in where this page frames will be in the main memory so it will be in the main memory this page frames will be in the main memory the paging is the process of copying the things into the main memory next comes to the next important term is page fragmentation page fragmentation the next important term is the page fragmentation it is the memory that becomes unusable fragmentation is where we cannot use the memory that comes under the page fragmentation then comes to the page fault page fault page fault is the event that occurs when a required page is not in main memory the page fault is whatever the page we get it is not required is required is not in the main memory and should be copied so this is the page fault which is not required which we cannot get is the page fault so next comes to the the basic structure of the virtual address so we discuss the general terms of the virtual memory this is the basic structure of the virtual address so the virtual memory first is the virtual address the virtual address will be in the register of 20 bits and by using the page memory so memory mapping table the mapping is the what is mapping mapping will uh, combine the or interlink with the virtual address and the physical address so in between the virtual address and the physical address what it is there it is the mapping and then comes the main table that is the buffer register then from the buffer register it is the main memory address register that is the 15 bits okay it is the main memory address register that is the 15 bits and from this main memory the next term will be the from this main memory address it will give to the main memory and from main memory main memory register that is the buffer register will be there this is about the mapping of the virtual virtual memory so the virtual address and the main memory buffer main from main memory this virtual memory is nothing but the ram okay sorry virtual memory is nothing but the hard disk main memory is nothing but the ram so ram required the memory so for it say we are taking a part of the virtual memory and from the virtual memory address that is about 20 bits it is transferred to the memory mapping table and from memory mapping table it gives to the main table that is the buffer register and from buffer register it will goes to the main memory address register that is of 15 bits and from 15 bits it is the main memory and then comes down to the main memory buffer register so this is the diagrammatic structure of the memory virtual memory how but the link between the virtual memory address 
and the main memory buffer. So this is all the internal steps which are in between the virtual address as well as the main address. Oh, you all understood well. Thank you. Thank you very much.